The four strand braid is the focus of today's quick tutorial. If you want to step up your braiding game and do something a little more complicated than three strands, the four strand braid is a unique look. And there are actually four popular ways of doing a four strand braid, so you can pick your favorite. The first we'll go over is called the transverse four strand, and is the easiest conceptually to understand. Start by dividing your hair into four even strands. You now have an outer right, inner right, inner left, and outer left strand. Notice my hand positions as well. I'm holding the outer strands against my palms so that I can use my individual fingers to hook inner strands and move them around when I braid. To start the braid, take the outer right strand and weave it over the inner right strand so the two switch places. Then weave that same strand under the inner left. Finally, weave it over the outer left. That strand now becomes the new outer left strand, and every other strand has shifted over one position. That's what makes this a transverse braid. Like a transverse beam in a building, this strand runs across the entire width of the braid. Pick up the new outer right strand and repeat. Weave it over the inner right, under the inner left, and over the outer left. Keep doing this pattern for the entire length of the braid. It can be hard to handle all these strands at first, but it becomes easier after the first couple iterations because all the strands will now stay separate from each other. Because of this, you can hold multiple strands together with one hand and also let them hang free without the strands falling apart or blending together. This is true for all multi-strand braids that have this over-under weaving pattern, so keep that in mind as a general tip. When you're done, this is what the braid looks like. Braid number two is the most common and generic four strand braid people usually refer to. For this one, the strand that is doing the weaving will be both outer strands alternating rather than always the strand from just one side. For this one, again start with four even sections and weave the outer right strand over the inner right and under the inner left. Then stop there with that strand. Next, weave the outer left strand under the new inner left strand and over the inner right. With the outer right again, weave it over the new inner right and under the inner left. With the outer left strand, go under the inner left and over the inner right, and so on. Keep going down the length of the braid, and remember that the outer strand on one side always goes over the next strand first, and the outer strand on the other side always goes under the next strand first. Again, after a few iterations, the strands stay separated so you can drop or handle them freely. Also, note how I'm doing all these braids as a side braid in this tutorial. This is a good position in which to learn braids on yourself, because it puts the least amount of strain on your arms. When you're finished with this braid, it looks like this. It's a bit more bumpy than the last, but as a bonus, there's a surprise you can do with this. In one hand, grab one of the strands, and with the other, grab the remaining three. Then push those three strands upwards, and you suddenly have the third type of braid in this tutorial, the four strand slide up braid. Finally, start braid number four with four even strands again. This one is called a round braid or 3D braid because while the others had distinctly flat surfaces, this one has no obvious front or back. To start this one, weave the outer right strand over the inner right and then weave the inner left over both of those so it becomes the new outer right. Then weave the outer left over the inner left, and weave the inner right over both of those so it becomes the new outer left. Do the pattern again so the outer right passes over the inner right, the inner left passes over both to become the new outer right, the outer left passes over the inner left, and the inner right passes over both to become the new outer left. If it helps you to remember this pattern, Think of the outer right and inner left as being one pair, and the outer left and inner right as being another pair. Pairs of strands always switch places with each other, and the strand on the outside always goes first and ends up underneath the inner strand at the completion of the switch. Keep doing this pattern all the way down. For one more general braiding tip, try your best to learn how to do these braids without looking, and instead doing them only by feel. This is difficult to do at first, and since this is a side braid, you can take quick peeks if you need to. But ultimately, being able to braid with your eyes closed means you really understand the spatial pattern of the braid, 
and enables you to do the braid behind your head and when you don't have a mirror. Thus, you'll be a more skilled and versatile braider. When you're done with the round braid, it looks like this. I hope this tutorial gave you lots of useful information and inspiration, so good luck with your new braids! This video is a part of a basic braiding tutorial series I'm doing as a 12 Days of Christmas event at the end of 2016. So if you like this video, come back to this channel every day for a new braid to learn. Or if it's past 2016 by now, you can check out all of these basic braiding tutorials in the playlist over to the right, as well as some other hair tricks and tips videos in there for basic hairstyling advice. Thanks for watching, and happy braiding!